Alright my friends, how are we? My name's Jacob and welcome back to another Rugby Player EX video. In today's video we're looking at the 53rd best player in the whole of the NFL for the year 2020. He's from the Kansas City Chiefs. His name's Chris Jones, he plays defensive tackle. Not my favourite position, but definitely an important one. And with that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> He's a bully. How the fuck have we not seen this guy? so far on this list. Mike Daniels. I almost forgot about him. Mike motherfucking Daniels. I did forget about you. Where have you been? <laughs> He's a bully. Tannehill in trouble! Sack! And now the ball is out! Chris Jones gets the sack, his fourth of the season. And, and he's, not, he's not like a mean bully. He's like a, hey, can I have your lunch money please? Thanks. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, cool, man. Just bring some extra change so you can eat too, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to take yours. <laughs> Imagine if there was a bully like that at school. <laughs> yeah, that's Chris Jones. Yeah, that was you at school, wasn't it, Mike? Uh, how about Chris Jones? From the dog. Chiefs. Hey, dog. I know who he is. He's a dog. I love Melvin Ingram. The ambassador to SAC Nation, Chris Jones, has denied diplomatic immunity to Philip Rivers. Ah, uh, so this guy's got an insane amount of sacks. Chris Jones, football lot. Chris Jones, defensive tackle, July 3rd, 1994. He's 26 years of age, six foot six. So he's an absolute monster at 310 pounds. Uh, second round of the 2016 draft, he's been a Kansas City Chief his whole entire career. He's got one Super Bowl, as we know. Made the Pro Bowl last year. And with that, made the top 100 list. He ran a 5.03 40 yard dash. If we're talking about last year, the year that we're gonna be focusing on, he had nine sacks. The year before, he had 15 and a half. Now that has to be almost a record as far as seasons go. Maybe it is a record. Most sacks in a NFL season. Holy shit, Michael Strahan got 22 and a half in 2001. Jared Allen got 22 in 2011. So did Mark Gastineau in 1984, and so did Justin Houston in 2014. So I suppose, so I suppose 22 and a half is the leading sacks. He's he's on 15 and a half. What's that? Seven behind. Yeah, he'd do well to get 22 and a half in a season. You want that guy to come at you? Six foot five, 315 pounds. Looking like that? Yeah. Um, where's my money? You can you can take it. You can have it all. Right now, man, you going crazy. Not a fair fight, Stone Cold, Chris Jones, Sack Nation. You know, everyone gets the Aaron Donalds, Fletcher Cox, they get a lot of praise on which they should, but he's guys that's right in that conversation with them as well. Great power rush inside by 95, so he couldn't step up right there. Number 95 is strong like a bull with enough power to simply bully his way to the quarterback. Chris Jones oh my god, I didn't see that. Look at this. Up right there. This is a man against boys. Number 95 is strong like a bull with enough power to simply <laughs> bully his way to the quarterback. Chris Jones, he took that elf line, the guard. You'd feel so bad, you'd feel so bad, wouldn't you? Just getting pushed back right onto your quarterback like that. It's like, fuck man, you had one job. But if you just get overpowered, there is nothing you can do. Back into Kirk Cousins and knocked him over. Play a scheme to try and stop this guy, right? Double team. But then that takes away one of your other linemen from another job. It's a hard one. <laughs> that speaks for itself. He's a freak, man. You know, he's big, he's strong, and he is fast and quick for how big he is. Which a lot of people, I think, kind of look past and just see this big dude kind of just running into quarterbacks and so I'm like, no, you gotta realize how fast he gets like Watch his speed beat the center. Watch his determination split the center and the guard. All that's left is sacking Tom Brady. Fucking hell, man. He'll be locked immense, in like, right, immense you know, pressure. Chris coming on this one, third down, this, that, and the other. And you just get to your spot and you're like, I did it. On this one, third down, this, that, and the other. And you just get well, the center is there. The center's there alone. He's standing up this guy. He's standing up his right, standing up the right guard. The tackles are there. We've got a running back trying to clean up the mess. 
it's probably going to stay open for a short a short pass to your spot and you're like i did every but there was no time to pass it to him. Thing right, and then he just does something that's just so fast and so athletic. Great job. I'm rocking out and slide coming back in. Great job. He'll run around you, and you'll fall on your face, and there goes your quarterback on his face, and you guys looking at each other like, they're not even mad. They're like, well, there's nothing we can do about it. It's Chris. His best game came in the big game, Super Bowl 54. No sacks, but three game-altering plays. Fires it late on the pass. Is intercepted by Chris. That's the kind of guy you want on your team during a Super Bowl, right? The next time when they play him again in a couple years, he might like not be able to play because they put a restraint on him. Those, that's how badly he beat them guys up. Pass is tipped out at the line of scrimmage. It looks like Chris Jones got it with that seven foot, four inch wingspan and swats it to the ground. Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing that. But let's have a look at his wingspan. Holy shit. I don't know about his arm length because this is kind of like a weird way of measuring it. It's almost like they, they measure it without the torso. Whereas if you're watching something like the UFC, they, they literally measure it from fingertip to fingertip. But this guy is six foot five and three quarters of an inch. And he has a hand size of 10 and three quarter inches. That is absolutely monstrous. Okay, almost 11 inches from thumb to little finger. Can you imagine that? Put your hand right out onto the desk right now and measure 11 inches. That's how big this guy's hands are. It's ridiculous. Now let's continue. Feel like Jordan game five. <clears throat> Three seconds left to go. Three seconds left to go. Put that nation in the game. We're gonna make something happen. They're gonna make a movie out of this. Garoppolo to throw. Pass is tipped and almost intercepted. Chris Jones, his second pass broken up. He looks like he'd be an absolute menace when he's on the piss. I don't know if these guys can drink throughout the season, but I think I think he'd be pretty loose. He looks like a really cool guy, actually. Anyway, Chris Jones, 52 on the list. Um, it seems as though they did actually make a movie about you, and it was it was three minutes and 20 seconds long. I really enjoyed that. Hope you guys did too. Any other Chiefs fans out there, please give the video a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you back here shortly to check out Todd Gurley. Now Todd Gurley, that name's come across my screen recently because I feel like he's gone from here to here to here in 2018, 2019 and 2020, apparently. Now this video is about his 2019 season. I am going to get into it. I'm going to look at his stats and I'm going to look at this story because yes, I see that he's, I see that he's now at the Falcons, although I haven't actually heard anything about his play at the Falcons. Is that because he hasn't played yet? Is that because he's been suspended? I really don't know. Let's find out in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day. Laters.